It is deja vu for many business owners on Douglas Street in Victoria. BC Transit, as we first showed you last night, has revamped its rapid transit plans and this time recommends light rail along the Douglas Street corridor. The $950 million realignment will connect downtown Victoria to the West Shore and has some merchants concerned that they're going to be cut off. A News reporter Astrid Brownschmidt has the story. BC Transit says it's on track to connect downtown with the West Shore with a light rail system. What we'd be looking at doing is putting one transit system into one of the lanes to accommodate what we're already currently doing. So would it be on this so side? So it could side? be on either side of the road, it could be in the middle, or it could be on one side of the road. Pinkerton says the system will do what the ENN can't, connect commuter hubs, including Uptown, with a reliable, fast service. It's going to be reliable. It'll happen every five to seven minutes. You just stand at a station, get on, goes where you want to go. It's going to be easier to use, and we're looking at moving people in a quicker, faster way. But not everyone sees light rail down the Douglas Corridor as a good thing. My phone hasn't stopped ringing. Bev Heighton represents the Association of Douglas Street Businesses. He says shopkeepers are furious that BC Transit is again recommending a realignment of Douglas Street to solve the region's transit woes. Businesses along the corridor will be devastated if there's an inability of people to get to their businesses. Heighton says at nearly $1 billion, the project is too risky and too costly. Even if they got, if we got it done for free, the operating costs alone are going to increase property taxes by magnitudes that one can only speculate on. Until government funding is confirmed, the exact cost to taxpayers is unknown, although early estimates put that figure at somewhere between $130 and $260 per household per year. One economist says we can't look at the dollars and cents that way. You have to look at what the return on the investment is. If we get the land use up and down the Douglas Street corridor, it is possible to realize enough tax revenue from that to pay for the line up and down the Douglas Street corridor. If the LRT project goes to plan, Wixon says the future of downtown Victoria looks bright. But what does that mean for the other railroad, the ENN? So you think, is it feasible to have both systems, ENN and light rail? Why would you not do it? It doesn't make any sense to me to not cover all the bases. The province has committed to covering its bases. Transportation Minister Blair Lextrom said today he plans to meet with BC Transit to see what, if any, funding is available for light rail and the ENN railway. In Victoria, Astrid Brownschmidt, A News.